Hi everybody and welcome back to the Reflector channel. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about converting an equatorial mount into an alt azimuth. And by the way, I'm getting over a cold, I have a cough, and it might lead to some weird edits. So the two most popular types of telescope mounts are the alt azimuth, which refers to changing the altitude up and down, and spinning it left and right, which is the azimuth. This alt azimuth mount here is just a little Dobsonian. The other type of mount is an equatorial mount, or sometimes called the German equatorial mount. With these, you have to line one axis up with the polar axis, with basically the North Star, and then the other axis rotates on the ecliptic. Uh, if I have those names incorrect, please leave a message down below. I have a whole video for how to properly align one of these axes, but if you're stuck with an equatorial telescope and you'd much prefer that it act like an alt azimuth, well, this video is for you. I'm going to show you a very simple way to make an equatorial mount work like an alt azimuth. And it's so simple and so obvious that I almost wonder why I'm making this video, but hopefully you might find it useful. But let's get right to it. So on every equatorial telescope, you have this scale right here. This is basically for lining up the polar axis. Uh, if you watched my other video on how to align an equatorial mount, you know that basically this needs to point to what is essentially your latitude. Uh, here in our part of Texas, it's around 32 and a half degrees. So I have adjusted it with this screw right here to about 32 and a half degrees. That means that when I have this properly lined up and this pointed north, that this basically is pointing directly at the North Star. In fact, on some of the equatorial mounts, there's a hole here. Uh, and if you look through there, it'll show it, if you have it properly lined, you'll be able to see directly the North Star. So the first step of turning your equatorial into an alt azimuth is simply to change this to zero. So you just unload it and you get it down to zero degrees of uh, elevation there. You're basically trying to get it horizontal uh, with the ground. So that's at around zero. Uh, my legs aren't level, so this is gonna be a little bit different. You may wanna put a level on there to make sure it's uh, completely level. So that's the first step. Now that we've got this axis completely level, it's time to basically rotate the whole telescope about 90 degrees, try to get this axis uh, horizontal. Now you might have to adjust this weight a little bit. You want this to stay pretty level like that. That's about right, actually. Once you have this horizontal and this horizontal, you want to tighten this locking screw. That way it won't rotate that much, okay? Now we do have to make one modification. You may have noticed that the eyepiece holder is now on the bottom. Uh, yours may be different, but it's really easy. Most of these, you just loosen these clamps. Uh, your telescope may be different. And you rotate this up like that, tighten them back down. Look at that, voila, you have altitude and azimuth. Congratulations, you've just created a, a pseudo Dobsonian telescope. Well, I hope you enjoy your new altitude azimuth telescope. And, you know, I've been worried that some of my videos have been a little bit long lately, so I'm going to make this the shortest.